Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? It's been brought to my attention that some people have trouble with banana bread. Sometimes it falls, sometimes it, it, it's a little too soggy inside, sometimes it's a little too hard. Well, let's do some banana bread. Okay. Here. No, stay Here we have two cups of bananas, six ounces of oil, one cup of sour cream, teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of sugar, three cups of flour, half a cup of cream, four eggs, and some vanilla, and baking soda. Okay, take a stick of butter, cream it up. We're going to add the sugar to the butter and we're going to keep it going and slowly put in our oil. Make sure the butter is nice and soft. Mine has been out from yesterday. The reason that we don't use all butter is because it'll make it a little firmer of a cake. We want a little bit lightness to this. If you want further lightness, you can change the sour cream to yogurt, plain yogurt. But today I'm not doing that. Let's put in some eggs. Four eggs, one at a time. that the butter I mean the now that the sugar has melted and it's nice and creamy we're gonna put in our bananas Make sure the bananas are very, very ripe. Just make sure you don't have anything stuck to the bottom, any butter or any sugar. But we have this well under control. Put in the salt. Put in the vanilla. And let's put in the sour cream. It's gonna keep the cake nice and moist. Delicious. Now we got two ingredients left, the cream and the flour. Let's put in one third of the flour. One third of the cream. One 
one third more of the flour. And one third more of the cream. Give it about 10 seconds. And let's throw the last of the flour. a little bit and the last of the cream and the baking soda I know some people like to put the baking soda in with the flour, but I like to put it in last and save the reaction for as close to oven as possible. Give it another 20 seconds. Let's get the batter into a pan. I like to use a bun pan so we can get some heat up through the center. You can also use a loaf pan. You want to get this about three quarters of the way up the pan. Give it a little, one more fold before we get it into the oven, just in case there was anything at the bottom of the bowl. Okay, nice and flat. Get your finger, go around, nothing on the edges. Around the center too. If you'd like to use a glove to do that, you may. And it's ready for the oven. Into the oven, 350 degrees. And let's come back in about 40 minutes and see how it's going. Okay. Clean, clean, clean.